New York City's 911 system was in desperate need of help today. The AMS system shut down at least four times, forcing operators to take calls using pen and paper. So tonight, an investigation is underway to figure out what went wrong. CBS 2's Derek Dennis live in Elmhurst, Queens, with more on this system failure again. Derek. Well, that's right, Dana. You know, there's no denying this has been a serious problem all day. City ambulance crews, like those behind me here at Elmhurst Hospital, forced to answer calls not by computer, but by pen and paper. And tonight, we have not heard if the problem's been fixed. It's happened again and again and again. Multiple times today, the city's 911 EMS dispatch system went down from a computer glitch, forcing dispatchers and crews to handle calls the old fashioned way, pen and paper. Well, it's very bad, I mean, very bad. That's serious, they really need to work on that system. Even little kids know enough to uh, dial 911. The first failure reported at around 7.45 this morning, followed by more failures off and on throughout the day, four confirmed by the FDNY, more according to the EMS union. Oh, definitely, it's been anywhere between five to seven times. EMT union president Israel Miranda says while the EMS dispatch system is still operating on the old system and not yet on the newly installed $2 billion integrated computer assisted dispatch system or ICAD, the entire system has been problematic. Of course the city is going to say that it's the old EMS system that's the problem, but we never had any problems like this before until they introduced this new ICAD system. But you see, they, they spent so much money, taxpayers' money on this system, they can't admit that it has flaws. It's literally life and death for ambulance squads, though in a statement late today, the FDNY says no calls were lost. Technicians are conducting various diagnostic tests to determine the cause of the EMS system problems, even with paper and and pen operations. Well, actually, what they're doing is writing it down on a piece of paper or an index card, and they have a runner, and the runner brings it to the dispatcher. Hard to imagine that's how calls have been answered today. The 911 EMS system is in the process of being upgraded to join the new ICAD system, but that won't be completed until 2015. We're live tonight in Elmhurst at Elmhurst Hospital. I'm Derek Dennis, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Derek. Well, 